Hello everybody, I'm Horatio and this is Fetch Quests. Um, I am playing Shining Force 2 today, and it's a very, very dear game to my heart, and I hope that you soon realize it. Part 1. Just a bunch of intro stuff. Stay here, okay? Oops, a dead end. Found some hidden stairs. Not all that well hidden. Hey guys, follow me. All right. I'm not gonna really be voice acting all this just because. I'm not that good of a voice actor. Finally, I found the hidden room of the ancient shrine. Treasure chest. In case you didn't realize that Slade was a thief. <laughs> Power water <laughs> couldn't be helpful at all as a thief. Right behind us. Light and evil. Sounds like something worth messing with. Quite a storm. Excuse me? It's a stormy night. Yeah, I think that was pretty self-explanatory. But yes, yes it is. It's unusual for this time of year. Summer? Excuse me, your majesty. Oh, excuse me, that was someone different. <laughs> yes, sire. Stormy outside, be careful. It's funny, it's something you don't really have with, with newer games that no, there's an argument for both sides whether it's a good thing or not, is a more gradual slow-paced setting up a plot and atmosphere without rushing straight into it. Now, I can see how some people would find that incredibly boring, but at the same time I don't know, it causes you to either stop playing the game or get really into it and dedicated to it in the plot. I'm a sucker for these old-timey pixel games. This is like 3D, high-rendered works of art. I don't know. I find they age better, but yeah, personal preference, I suppose. <laughs> Please tell me those are little pixelated butt cracks that are wiggling back and forth the top of the pants. Mm, pixel crack. Oh, the pixel crack. I like think no one's questioning why there's a giant life-size rat. Isn't that kind of like race stereotyping too? Just because he's a rat, does he have to be a thief? Maybe there's an honest, you know, up front rat that runs a small orphanage and, and helps feed starving children. No, rats. Either thieves or politicians. Thieves? Mm, grammar. Thieves or politicians. We will get to the game eventually, I promise you. <laughs> Bro, 
bravo to me! I got them all indeed. That rumbling is probably not anything to do with the fact that I was messing with the crystals of light and evil. A long intro. The ancient tower. What's wrong? It's collapsing. Maybe it was struck by lightning? No, not lightning. Rat thieves. <laughs> Towers never fall to lightning. Actually, that doesn't really make sense. Well, uh, maybe I guess that there's a big enough impact, but... Stone Tower Lightning, you think? Nah. Sealed. Door. Ancient. Tower. I would, if you would. Stop interrupting me. It's open. That's impossible! <laughs> it can't be true strange sorry I'm going to go and see what happened we must know the truth be careful take me to the sealed door Strange. Strange indeed. Lightning at the ancient tower. Huh? Did I hear something? Oh, oh wait. That was just me talking to myself. <laughs> I missed what he said. Something important, I'm sure. Nope, no one. It's just your nerves. I saw a shadow. Did you see the shadows? It's a shadow. It's a shadow. Did you see the shadow? It's all like, I'm a shadow. I'm being ominous. I'm creating atmosphere. Sure hope no one's talking over this to ruin it. That would make me mad pointless. Oh, <laughs> oh! Hey! Oh! Floating goblins. Maybe, maybe it's just Yoda. Kind of looks like Yoda. Hmm. Train you must. Open the tower is. See the force. What did I tell you? The, the force used to spin someone around in circles very rapidly. So <sighs> I'd power puke. I oh, know we haven't even started yet. Ten minutes in. Me, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make that a separate video all in of itself, and I'll call it the epilogue. No, prologue. What's that word? Prologue. Prologue. And I'll record part one next time.